Yes. Other news tonight, a man who has maintained his innocence for the past two years has been found guilty in the murder of a 15 year old boy. Krem Kyle Simchuk just spoke with the victim's sister who says sitting through this trial has not been easy. Kyle. Well, her brother Preston was a freshman at University High School. He was shot to death outside an apartment in 2021. Stephen Yoler pulled the trigger, but isn't the only person awaiting sentencing. Funny, goofy. He just do teenage stuff. That's how Nicole Dragoric still remembers her 15 year old brother Preston nearly two years after he was murdered. It was very emotional and it was very tough. Um, especially Preston being my only sibling. Preston received a message over Snapchat in March 2021 from his friend, 17-year-old Daisy Red Thunder. Court documents show she wanted to buy a vape pen and lured him out of a Spokane Valley apartment. Daisy wasn't there, but her boyfriend, Stephen Yoler, was and shot Preston to death. Yoler and his girlfriend were arrested shortly after the murder. She pleaded guilty last May to rendering criminal assistance and conspiracy to commit first degree assault. Yoler, now 21, has maintained his innocence for years, even during a jailhouse interview with Krem. If there was surveillance video that showed me at the crime, they would have grabbed me a lot sooner than over in a month and a half. Police say Yoler told his girlfriend he shot Preston six times and claimed the 15 year old was going to kill him and put money on his head. He just tried justifying the fact that he murdered a child, and that's sick to me. Preston's sister sat through the trial and says Yoler lied repeatedly. His girlfriend testified against him. I feel like she did have some remorse, considering Preston was her friend. Jurors found Yoler guilty Tuesday of first-degree murder. It was a big relief for Preston's family. He deserves life. Me and my family, we just want to thank the jurors. We didn't get a chance to thank them before they left the courthouse. Um, we just want to say thank you. Yoler is scheduled to be sentenced in December. His girlfriend remains in jail as well. Her sentencing is scheduled for February. In the studio, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.